Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to weigh out peanut butter. Now, I know what you're thinking. Danny, why do I need to weigh out my peanut butter? That's ridiculous. Yes, it is a little bit silly, but if you are tracking and we want to be a little bit more accurate, because here's the thing. We, as humans, are not good at eyeballing. So here I have a peanut butter toast. How much peanut butter is on here? It could be one teaspoon, it could be one tablespoon, it could be two tablespoons. And that could be the difference between 50 calories and 250 calories. So if you're tracking, I highly recommend determining how much peanut butter you typically use by weighing it out for about four to five days. After that, you should be able to realize that, hey, I use about 20 grams per slice on average, and then you can go with that. So how do we weigh peanut butter on a toast? Because it's kind of awkward, right? I'm not gonna put the piece of bread on here, which we can do, but here's an easier way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put the peanut butter on the scale, and first of all, just know that I'm gonna use grams. So on a scale, and you can go back to the video, Food Scale 101, we're gonna look, we're gonna use grams because peanut butter is in grams. I'm not gonna use a tablespoon measuring spoon because then I have to wash it and it's gonna be very difficult and annoying. So when it's grams, we wanna make sure the scale is at grams, which it is. And I'm gonna make sure I zero the scale. So I'm gonna press zero. Now I have zero and one tablespoon well, two tablespoons is 33 grams. So that means that one tablespoon is basically 16 grams because 16 times two is 32. So what I'm gonna do, because I wanna put one tablespoon, AKA 16 grams on this toast, I'm gonna grab out about a tablespoon. Oh, that was only eight. So that's about half a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna keep going until we have 16. Oh, there we go, no, 15, mm, close enough. So that is for sure 15 grams of peanut butter on my toast. So when I track my peanut butter, I would go to my tracking app and I would put 15 grams, or if it was spot on 16, now I can track one tablespoon because one tablespoon equals 16 grams. I hope this was helpful.